United. Hi, hi, how are we doing? Yes, welcome to Geelong United Online. We are so excited that you have tuned in. We have such an amazing night in store, don't we, Friendy? This is crazy, yeah. I'm Friendy, I'm from Kadinia. Who are you? Oh, I'm Emma. I'm from Planet Shakers <laughs> or Planet Boom. We I'm have so we have so many youth ministries helping out tonight. So keep an eye out if your youth ministry is going to be on tonight doing something. But there's, I don't know, it's so jam packed that like don't waste a minute. Don't waste a minute. You can't get off your couch or your bed or wherever you're watching from. You have to stay right where you're at because we have so much in store for you. We are going to be throwing to all different youth ministries. Yeah, we're going to be going to Gateway very soon. We're then going to One Hope after that. Then they're coming back here because you're going to be running an awesome panel. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Now, be great. If, you're, if you're a young person at home yes. and you're behind oh, your yep. screen, yep. I, want to, I want to know where you're from. Yes, exactly. We want to know youth ministry. Yeah. Uh, what state you're living in right now, because who knows who's on right now? Who knows? Maybe you're watching with your mum or your dad. That'd be cute. Maybe Grandma Sue's on. Maybe. So, do you know what you can do, young person? This is what you can do right now, friendy. Yeah, I'm listening. We want you to get on the chat right now, yep. and we want to sh you to shout out your youth group. So, if you're from One Hope, if you're from Kadinia, if you're from Planet Boom, there's so many youth ministries. Salvos. Salvos. Energy. Synergy. Something with a youth in it. City on a hill. City on a hill. Yes, we <laughs> love you all. So why don't you right now write in the chat where you're from, where you're watching from, because we want to know. Yeah, so guys, it's going to be a great night and we're about to throw straight over the Gateway because they have some fun in store to build the energy and bring it up. So Gateway, over to you guys. Hello. Welcome. Hey. hey, hey. How you doing, Geelong United? We are so excited to be here from the Gateway Studio. We are so excited. Isn't this great? So this is... I'm Tim. How are you doing? I'm Emily. Hi. And, and Bevan over here. Um, and we have, we have a special guest tonight as we well. We do have a special um, guest. I'm where not is actually he? sure where he is right now. Where um, is... Where is Chef Does anyone Trent? know, where, I know they're late. where our special guest where is? Who is our special Chef guest? Trent. Hello, Chef Trent. Trent. Chef Trent. Hey! Can anyone see? Hang on. Chef Trent. Wait, <laughs> wait a Can second. Can you see? I see something. Oh, oh there he oh, is. Oh, hey, Trent. Chef Trent. <laughs> hey, Trent, are you excited to uh, get cooking tonight? I am excited. Well, I'm you're going to cook with yeah. ice tonight because you're making a milkshake for us. Yeah, boy. So why don't you head over to your kitchen? Because oh. we're going to make some milkshakes for everyone. Yeah, we are. Do you like milkshakes, Bevan? I really, I, I re actually really, really like milkshakes, but... In saying that, I'm I'm actually more of a thick shake person myself. The, I've got a feeling that these ones are going to be... Hey, you guys online, put in the chat if you like thick shakes. Tell us what your favourite flavour of thick shake or milkshake is, if you like that chocolate or that strawberry. Emily, how about you? What's your favourite? I really love a good cookies and cream or Oreo Ooh, milkshake she's or gone thick fancy. shake. That's my favourite. With the cookie chunks, you've got to have, have the have chunks. have the cookie chunks. Well, hey, Chef Trent. Can you remember what uh, what flavour milkshake you're making for us tonight? I I can remember a little bit, man. A little bit. A little bit. Well, should I help you out with some of the ingredients we've got there? Well, I'll eat what I've remembered so far. All right? Yeah, go. I've got a chopping board. <laughs> That's a good start. Yeah, man. What yeah. else? I've got a jug. That's good. With a lid. That helps. Do you mean like but a blender? No, 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 no. Jug with a lid oh. with a magic blade. I do have. Oh, wow. I've got some milk. Milk. And I've got some rice cream. That's is that so good soy ice cream? I thought he said Ooh, rice cream. That's it is. Actually I do disgusting. I am a bit fond of but, rice cream. I'm so in my thirties now. You can't make a milkshake with just so good ice cream and milk, can you guys? No, not at all. I think we need some more ingredients. Yeah. It, it's gotta have like a like a base. There's gotta be a bit of a sauce in it and some toppings, yeah? Yum. Yeah, yeah. Now yep. Trent, Trent, do you do you remember what the secret ingredients are for your um, world famous milkshake? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't we take a look under cloche number one? I want you guys at home, make sure you're following along because I want you to smash in that comment section which ingredients you actually want Trent to cook with. We're going to collaborate tonight and we're going to make a disgusting milkshake. So, Trent, what's under cloche number one there? We've got our What's base <laughs> of uh, spam. Yeah, man. So we have under hood number one, we have a little bit of spamage. That's you can disgusting. never go wrong with spamage. Spam. We have wow. some, this is not broccoli. I'm having a mental blank here. This Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. And we have, this is actually quite pungent. 
This what? is a bit of sushi. Oh, that's Date just... unknown. But sushi. we did find it. That is gross. That's my favourite food. That's probably mine from the fridge. We've got a few people on the chat saying we've got um, caramel thick shake. We've got caramel mixture. Caramel or choc mint. That sounds delicious. That is glorious. So, So guys, make sure that you put one of those three ingredients in the chat right now so that when we get the feed come through, Trent can add that ingredient. But... We need a sauce. So Ooh. we've got our base. Okay. Now we need a sauce. So if we look to our sauces, Trent, yeah, yeah. Um, we will see you've got like a shrimp paste. We have a very good vintage, the year 2019 roasted Blanchan shrimp paste. That's disgusting. <laughs> Nothing like a good shrimp paste. Lovely. We have some Tabasco. Oh, Tabasco. And we also have some wasabi. What's up, babe? What's up, All right, so guys, little. pick one of those three. So, pop it in the chat straight away so that we can add that ingredient when it's time. That's disgusting. Hey, one of our guys online, Jackson, has said, Tim, you know mine. I don't know what I that is, know. but um, anyway. <laughs> um, Take a guess. TV Hobbs said Tomorrow mango smoothie. Flavor. I'm a rebel. I like that. I like that. All right, so to top it off, we need a topping, don't we, guys? Emily, you said you like the little Oreo crunchy biscuity I bits. I love Oreo. But, Trent, what are some of the things you've got to top off your thick shake tonight? Well, obviously the good old ice cream. That <laughs> don't, don't mind the machete. I couldn't actually find a spoon. But, you know, while it's out this back. Don't do this at home, oh, kids. Oh, guys. Oh, hey, uh, oh, hey nah. All right. We also have... Some Coca-Cola. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. Well, you have a little bit of onion, oh, brown no. onion, I believe. And we also have some eggs. Are these, these are cage eggs. So do you, oh, yes. It's like a, it's like a protein milkshake. Jacob Ford just said in the chat that Tim needs to drink it. Come I on do now. not agree with that statement right now <laughs> <laughs> at all. Let me tell you, Tim's allergic to everything. Considering I'm getting spam sushi Tabasco, I'm getting Ooh. spam hey, you time, can eat all those. I'm getting Tabasco. You can Waterfront eat youth want to see Tim drink it. <laughs> <laughs> I should clarify, I am allergic to gluten and dairy. Hashtag convenient. All right, so I think we need to decide what our first ingredient is. Do we have it on the chat yet? Based off of the chat, guys, I think we got a 50-50 split, like halfway down the middle. He needs to add both Spam and Sushi. Yes, I love Sushi. This is going to be a great milkshake. Do you think you could get Spam Sushi? You probably could. I reckon my dad could make that. You can get, like... Weird sushi. I had eel sushi once. Whoa. That was no. not fun. I am a cooked tuna and avocado gal. How's it smell, Trent? Gal. It honestly smells like Whoa. dog food. Ugh. I can smell it from but here. But not even like the good dog food that you contemplate, like, oh, I'm a little bit peckish. It actually smells like the bad dog food. Bro. Um, here's, I'll get something out for the spoon. All right. So that, oh, it, oh. oh it's chunky. It, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big slab. It actually I should um, point out there to all is. our viewers off camera, we have a large garbage bin for VOM. So ready and waiting. That's ready to go. That is disgusting. Now, don't forget, you got to get some of that. <laughs> you can't put the tin in. you got to get some of that sushi in there too, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to get the mould off it because out of the kitchen sushi. Oh, yum. <laughs> oh, how, how are we going with our, with our next ingredient? All right, so Tim? I have got um, Jessica saying we need Coke for our so- All uh, right, topping later. Some... But before oh. we get to the topping, sorry, I'm seeing a lot of wasabi. Lots and wasabi lots of it wasabi. Up, Daniel Dunn Chef said, "Let's Trent. get Tim drinking it." Yeah, I agree. Queen B Vic <laughs> said, "You can do it, Tim." It's not happening. <laughs> we should have just used think, almond milk. I think, and I, think, <laughs> I think, Chef Trent, you need to add some of your world famous wasabi. wasabi. Was that Tabasco. Wasabi. Uh, wasabi. Is that Tabasco? W- w- the green one. The green one. <laughs> 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 and I did also hear. That we have some Coke. Were there any other sauce preferences? Waterfront well? Youth just said, oh. "Sounds like he's allergic to fun." <laughs> it is. <laughs> Our dinner parties are Thanks, <laughs> not very fun a lot of the time because Timmy's food is always wrong. <laughs> True. <laughs> he's True. always taking his food back. Oh, look at that wasabi, bro. Woo. This this could be this could be. Get that in oh, there. That's, All that's right, so we've marbles. got. A, we need a topping. Yep. Guys, what topping? I'm seeing a lot of onion in there. I'm seeing... Oh, like I onions, saw one Coke. Sprinkles. 
seriously, we're getting a lot of onion. Onion. All right, I think onion, onion, onion it is. Chef Shut Trent. the whole thing Chef in, Trent. Trent. You might the onion. The whole thing, please. Now, I've heard, Trent, um, when you when you cut up onion, you need to suck, stick your tongue out. It's true. Um, so that your eyeballs don't cry. Do you guys, do you guys weep? No, hey, so Em, you do something fun. Do, do you guys know? <laughs> try this at home. This is something you can try at home. So Bevan and I, we're married, so... We, when we're cooking, we challenge each other to who's going to do the onion for that day, and we actually use a pair of swimming goggles. Swimming goggles. And I kid you not, it works. Man. It is a life hack that has changed our lives. We have a special spot for the goggles in our cupboard ready for when we chop onions. Sasha's saying wasabi, 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 All right. wasabi. Uh, I think, I think wasabi. Chef Trent just about put all the wasabi in already. Trent, yeah. what are you doing? You don't oh, He's rub crying. the onion in your eyes. Are you okay? Honestly, it is just like pepper spraying myself. Oh, I rubbed no. it on my gorgeous eyelashes. Dude. And now I'm like... All right, yeah. get that onion in there. Chop it up. Oh, it, stick it, it must, in. It must be about time we, we chuck it on the blending I machine. I think we need to blend it. But no. should we yeah. just crack an egg in there for fun Trent, as well? Trent, so. Remember, crack that egg. All right. Shell and oh. all. Get it in there. I really the rubbed lid? eggs onto my oh, under eyeball. Bro. The lid definitely you needs to, to go on. forgot to put in the shell. I did not forget at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, put that on the blender. Let's see how lid, thick this lid thing first, is. Lid first, people. Lid all first. Right. Should we just live wild and not put the lid on? No, no. lid first. Lid. Lid? I am worried. Lid. <laughs> all right. I feel sick already just watching all this. All right, let's do this. Okay, do you know how to work it? He's, right? he's blending. I can Whoa, hear there it. it is. Oh. It's chunky Look monkey. Look at it. That's disgusting. What do you guys think at home? Does that look like the most disgusting thing oh, you've ever seen? It really, it really, It looks really kind of does. just like a banana smoothie. Like, awful. let's be honest. The Spam and the Sushi actually created little creatures like sea monkeys, and they're actually oh. moving. That's disgusting. And one just told me his name's hey. Fred. <laughs> hey, Emily. <laughs> I forgot to tell you something. Well, what's that? We oh. need two people to drink this. Oh, dips not. But you dips not, so that means <laughs> Pastor Bevan. <laughs> oh. You are going to join Trent up in the kitchen. Well, come on, boy. Tim, um, I've heard yes. that I've heard that uh, Chef Trent's milkshake is world world class. World class. So I would absolutely love to join him he, and drink the milkshake. He definitely Dude. thinks it's world class. He is a celebrity chef, so yeah, man. I would assume oh, he's that pouring it is world it out class. Now. That is great. How it thick is, is actually it? Is it moving. A thick shake? Thick shake or milkshake? So. Geelong United, this is the most disgusting thing I have ever seen. If you're just joining us, Chef Trent has made a thick shake out of what ingredients did we had? We this had sushi roll and spam. Yep. We had wasabi and raw onion. And just to top it off, and he cracked egg. a raw mm. egg. Mm. So, hey, boys, oh. are you guys ready to drink this disgusting thing? Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Let's <laughs> count it down from like 10. All right. Oh, are, you, are we ready? I'm Here we ready. Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drink, 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 drink. Oh. <laughs> I don't do well with this. This is, this, is, this is really, really good. This is so good. As if it's good. There's actually lip hole. You're not drinking. That is disgusting. Oh, oh that's filth. Hey, what does it taste like, <laughs> Chef Trent? It, it tastes like every dream that was broken as a child. <laughs> <laughs> All dreams oh, are broken through I, the thick shake, I know guys. what my favourite milkshake is now. <laughs> <laughs> what do we it's, call it? It's Chef Trent's world-class milkshake. World-class oh, milkshake. Oh, that's lovely. That is truly well done. disgusting. Well done, Chef Trent. That was amazing. Yeah, no worries. So uh, any, any, no, I'm not doing that again. Oh, guys. Hey, we've had so much fun making milkshakes and thick shakes and This wasabi. has been a great start to our night, I think. Don't try this at home. Yeah, the Please only thing you can try, home. remember, is swimming goggles when your parents chop onions because <laughs> you're potentially too young to chop the onions yourself. So tell your parents, wear a pair of swimming goggles, take a photo, post it to Geelong United Instagram. That's it. I think that that is a great way so good. to spend your weekend. Geelong honestly. United, you guys are so awesome. We're in for a great night. We can't wait. Yeah, yeah. You guys ready? We're ready. We're ready. Bye bye. All right. Thanks for being with us. And over to One Hope. Wow. Well, Gateway, thank you so much for those games. Well, 
I'm so glad that I wasn't drinking that milkshake. That looked disgusting. But uh, what fun and what a way to kick off this amazing experience. Geelong United online. So many churches joining together. Um, won't you stand with me wherever you are, whether in your bedroom, your lounge room, um, tuning in with us. But we're going to head into some praise and worship now before our panel. We've got an exciting night lined up for you. Um, let's step into worship now. Thanks, Anna and team. to join with us and sing Staring Into Your Eyes. Staring into your eyes makes my heart come alive. Suddenly brought to life when I met you. Reaching beyond the skies, running deep, stretching wide. We just thank you for your goodness. We thank you, God, that you care for us. You're not just some far distant king who doesn't care about their subjects, but 
You want to be close to us. And what happened on the cross was, was that, to get close to us. And there is nowhere that you won't go to bring your children home. No matter where, where we are on our journeys with you, God, right now we just, we just want to be with you. We want to be in your presence, God. And we want to recognise how good you are and how faithful you are to your children. Before I spoke, before I spoke a word, you were singing over me. You have been so, so good to me. Before I took a breath, you breathed your life in me. So, so kind to me.
pray together now. Father God, we thank You that You are a reckless God. You have reckless love for us and that is abundant and that You invite us to share in that should we choose to follow You. Father God, I wanna lift up every single person that can hear my voice right now. Every single person tuning in, whether it's through our YouTube channel or our Facebook page. Lord, we, we thank You that You've allowed us to come together despite these times of isolation and social distancing. That Father, You have made a way as You do so many times, as You have done so many times and continue to do in our lives. Holy Spirit, we invite you here. We are so thankful that you are here with us right now. And we ask that you just be over every part of this broadcast, that the technology works right until the end. Lord God, I thank you for our production teams and our worship teams and the games teams, our hosts, Lord, and every single young person listening to this broadcast right now. Father, we pray over our schools, Lord God, as we head back to our schools next week. We ask that that be a smooth transition and that in Jesus' name, every fear and anxiety uh, be put aside. That we know that you are Lord of all, God. And we just thank you that in your mighty name, we can step forward in confidence and strength despite the unknown of what we're stepping back into. That we can stand tall knowing that you are a mighty God and you go before us. We thank you, God, for our teachers. We thank you for all the effort that they're putting into preparing to us coming back to school and all the effort they've gone to educating us online. And Father God, I thank you for anyone that struggled during this time. I ask your presence to be abundant with them right now, that they can feel you next to them right now. Uh, Lord, we pray for those who um, have been struggling with their mental health, those affected by losing someone to mental health. Lord Jesus, we just ask that your love be surrounding us tonight. Lord, I thank you for the strength that you give us, for the reckless love that you speak over us. Uh, and we lift up uh, every person in this city, every teenager, every church, um, and every person that you love so much. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Well, my name is Georgia. I'm the family's pastor here at One Hope. Uh, welcome to the One Hope studio. I hope you enjoyed the band. Um, we've got a great night uh, set out for you. Uh, please don't go anywhere. We've got some surprises coming up and a panel with some familiar faces. So stay tuned. We just have one announcement and that's about um, term three. Obviously, with the current times, we don't know at what rate the restrictions get lifted. So we are praying that coming together, uh, united as the youth groups around Geelong for Youth Alive, which we usually do in Term 3, will still be able to happen. But we are going to keep you updated through our Facebook page uh, um, and through your leaders, our, our network of leaders. We will keep you updated as to when that's going to be and if it can happen. And you know what? If it can't, we're going to meet together again just like we have tonight online. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And let's be praying. Let's be praying that those restrictions lift as soon as possible, as soon as it is safe for us to do so. Fantastic. Now, oh, actually, I think I've just got some intel coming in. Yep, there's definitely some comms coming through. I believe there's happening something happening over at Kidinia. Friendy, Dan, are you there? Hey, how we doing? We're back. What's up? Hey, Georgia, thanks for that. We appreciate you. But we're going to stop things right there because we've been told that it's time for a bit of a break, a commercial. We're going to throw to a commercial right now and uh, we'll be back straight after this commercial. Brought to you by our proud sponsors. Have you been down and out during lockdown? Have you been hungry for some favourite Aussie snacks but too lazy to get out of bed? Well, here at McDinia, we have created a perfect solution. Aussie favourites, lovingly crafted in the Theory family kitchen for your eating pleasure. Fresh ingredients willfully prepared for social isolation blues. Delivered right to your bedroom door. It's like a chocolate milkshake, only crunchy. Roy, wrong commercial. Oh.
When ISO gets you down, don't put on a frown. Go to your door and pick up some food from this clown. Bithynia's delivery. I'm a happy little Vegemite. Tim Tam Slam. <laughs> Mick Dinius, call 0407 447 014 to get your delivery today. Just do it. Roy, we're not selling sneakers. Oh, come on. <laughs> no clowns were harmed in the making of this video. Hey, how good was that? We're back and on with my friend Dan. How you doing, guys? Hope you're doing well. And uh, we thought that after that commercial, we were getting a little bit hungry ourselves. Oh, I and, love um, a cheese toasty. I, I don't mind a cheese toasty, but this one has got an extra ingredient. I'll put cheese and ham in it. And I've made this just for you. <laughs> for me? Okay, so now I know your, water, your waterfront family would love to see you just take a nibble out of this and, you know, just tell us what, what you think of the toasty that I just made. So I was actually thinking it'd be rude to take the toasty off you, Nate. No. I know how hard you worked over that toasty <laughs> three to four hours ago. <laughs> it's, it's made with love. So I, I, know, I know that they would like to see. And look, I haven't even touched it. I've been very careful with it. Um, there you go. Tell me what you think. Now, the bread is white bread from Coles, Coles brand. Cheese is also Coles brand, and the ham is Coles brand. No, Coles brand is good. Big shout out to Coles. It's soggy. It's, like, so it's proper soggy and cold. It may have been made about 40 to 45 minutes ago. So you no, know Nate, I think you'd be doing this all the just justice if you didn't take a bite as well. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll make it go opposite corner. Jeez, okay. Because we've got to say, stay from the Rona. Mm. It's not, not bad. Yeah, that's no good. But. I thought that we would send some toasties out to some of our young people. I know they'd really appreciate it because that was they probably would. the best toasty I've ever eaten. So we have sent out, well, I'm I can't even chew through this. We have sent out three people. We have um, sent out three teams that have gone out to young people's houses randomly to knock on their doors and give them a hot, a hot, uh, what do we call it? Toasty. A toasty. Okay. The so let's cross to them now. Can we get them on the screens? There they are. There they Wave are. at us if you can. Shout out Josh Hanna, what's up? <laughs> Is that Maddie Barnett that I see? Awesome, so good. And hey. we've got the boys, the boys down there, Tom and Jacob, legends. No, it's not Tom, it's Tim, I've been told. There Tim, you go. Tim and Jacob, that's it. So, now these boys are at... They're Ang knocking, really someone's knocking. Someone's knocking. How we got? Can you guys hear us? Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Hello? Oh, they can hear us, all right. Can you guys hear us? Here we go. Oh, they've already gone! Yeah, they've got the Hello, everyone. <laughs> I want to see those burst bites, please, elbow, guys. There we go. Elbow, elbow. elbow. We, need to, we need to see some young people eating it. If I had to eat it, they have to eat it. <laughs> so I'm sorry, but hope you're excited. Mate, this is chaos. Absolute chaos. This is chaos. This is mayhem. But you know what goes with chaos? Happiness. Uh, I'm with you. I'm with you. And it's this is what youth ministry is all about. You know, you're going out. We're there for the people. Now, guys, can you hear us? Can, can someone come in and let us and give us some feedback? <laughs> Mate, Yo, guys, I don't think you get the feedback. There's too much fun. Yo, we got we got Kiara here. She's trying it. She's keen. Yes, Josh. She's ready. It's really not that Josh and Kiara, shout it's out Wolfman. Good. It's Kiara pretty good. Is not, it's not that bad. We've heard it. You've heard it here first, folks. It is not that bad. No. It's great. It's quiet, not that bad. Thank you. You're welcome. You are welcome. <laughs> Shout out to the waterfront fan. Yes. Okay. Let's Uber go. Now, yeah, who else we got? Um. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, the Vanderclay boys. The Vanderclays. What, what do you reckon? What do you reckon? Um. <laughs> <laughs> boys, boys, I hear you can do a dance. I want to see the dance. Little Vegemite. Boys, we you can do a dance. You're a happy little Vegemite. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed cheese and ham as well. Where's the, where's the other one? Oh, mate, I think they're. Where's team three? Team three. Mate, they're too busy enjoying <laughs> their, their oh, wait, how, how, how good was it to hear they enjoyed the toasty though? I could hear it through the camera. Oh, it was amazing. <laughs> we were delivering <laughs> toasty sandwiches and happiness. You, you, can't, you can't get any better than that. We are, we are taking joy to the streets of Geelong. Unbelievable. Now, does anyone want to give us any other shout outs? Where are we at? 
Yo, Matt, we're about to put Uber Eats out of business. Street, right? oh, we're gonna go. We got <laughs> more deliveries to do. Let's keep going. We out here, yo. Yo, friendy, what's happening, bud? <laughs> hey, so how did that go? How did that go? How, were you happy with it? Hit me, hit me with some light. They, they were ecstatic. You've never seen such joy on on a couple of kids' faces. <laughs> like, this is what we're about, you know? Toasties, full bellies, full smiles. It's it's epic. We are here Come toasting on. sandwiches. And uh, <laughs> changing lives. One toast. And, and, and it wasn't just one toasted <laughs> sandwich. You, you sent three sandwich. to the whole family. You can't. You can't. There's no one left. No child left behind, man. No child left behind. It's all. It's hey. about all of them. Well done, good, good and faithful <laughs> servant. Well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> hey, we're gonna try and cross down right, to the we screen we haven't seen yet. I think the One Hope crew. Is the One Hope crew there? Can you guys hear us? They're probably running a little bit late. <laughs> oh, there they are! Here, Here they we are. go! Yes! Oh, look. How did we go, Timmy? Uh, enjoying a delicious cold ham and cheese toasty. There it is. And, and who do we have here? What's that young man's name? What's his name? Absolutely. Uh, this is Rory. Hey, Roy. How you doing, man? Roy, let us know, man. Give us a one out of ten. Give us a one out. Well, give us a one between one. Not a one out of ten. One, but one. You know, I'm trying to say. Give us a ten out of ten, bro. That's what I'm trying to say. It was four before. This is going better. Yeah, what's made it? The middle part is better. Middle is better. Middle is better. Middle is more. You better go back and eat the middle. <laughs> Maybe that was our issue. We ate the crust. Yeah, a little bit. The, the crust was the crust was a downfall. I'm not gonna lie. Hey Tim, why you've got why you've got Roy there? Can Roy give us a bit of a some sort of dance? Is he a bit of a dancer? Good one. Um, what's your ideal sandwich? Hey Jake, it probably helps to actually have the the, the screen on him. That's probably a good way to good place to start. There we go. Good man. If he's not going to give us a dance, you're going to have to do it for us, friendy. No, no, no. We're going to go back to where's the waterfront crew? Waterfront crew, are you still with your young person? Are we on their screen? Yeah, we're still on their screen. Yes, we are. We're right here. Yes. Now, can we get a dance out of your young person? Yes, Kiara. Some sort of dance. Come on. Kiara, the TikTok queen. Let's go. Come on. We need a bit of light. We need a bit of light going. All right, let's go. It's a bit dark. It's a bit dark. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What do you got for us? Hmm. Oh, there it is. Ooh. Renegade. Yeah, go, ah. girl. Oh. Wow. Oh. Dan, you'd be pretty proud right now, wouldn't you? Yeah. Straight oh, up. Yeah. That's the jeans. Yes. <laughs> But they are they are the reddest jeans I've ever seen look, in my life. Look, she was prepared, I think. She was well prepared. Well done. Well where done. do I get myself a pair of jeans like that? Hey, where's where's the boys from Continue Gang? Maddie, are you still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still here, mate. We're still here. Hey, you, have you guys already left the scene? Yeah. Now we're we're oh, just in, enjoying hey, the, the moment. We've seen River dance before. River, can you can you give us some sort of Fortnite dance for us? Give us a move, bro. Give us a move. <laughs> River, you need to give us a Fortnite dance. <clears throat> um, I don't know any <laughs> Fortnite dances except like this. Oh, the we can't see it. We can't see it. Tilt the camera. Oh, what's this? These camera crews, bro. <laughs> Ooh. Is this like there it is. Or River, <laughs> you are the Great man. Great job, bro. River. What is this? Just, What's he saying? We've just, we've just relived 2016. The Thank champion you. Champion being the champion, being a champion. <laughs> oh, they're all looking at him go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, Arnie, Arnold, <laughs> get him to the chopper. <laughs> I didn't know we had a guest on the, on the stream. I didn't, I didn't know either. A, a famous guest. All right, well, Dan, I've had a lot of fun with these guys. So have I. Did you appreciate it? I felt like we brought some love and some joy and some happiness. I think we did. I think there's no better way to do it than a cheese toasty. So here's what I want. I want to put out a challenge. If you know how to make a toasted sandwich, mm. why don't you go drop over a toasted sandwich to someone during the week sometime and just maybe leave a note. Hey, you're welcome. Something like that. We love you. We love you. Yeah. Hot tip. Hot tip with the cheese toasty. Put a bit of butter on it before you toast it. Ooh. You get a little bit extra crispy snap and ooh, something good. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a life hack right there. So, hey, we hope you enjoyed that segment. Uh, that was a lot of fun. And now we get the privilege to handball it over to the wonderful Pastor Emma from Planet Shakers. And I'm really looking forward to this next part. Over to you, Em. Hello, everyone. I hope you are having an amazing night so far. What fun we've been having. I don't know about you, but that milkshake over at Gateway, that was a treat. I'm glad I wasn't there and didn't have to drink it like you did, Chef Trent. Um, but it is so good to see you by faith tonight, everyone, through the screen. We're so glad that you have tuned in, whatever youth group that you are from. We hope that you're having such a fun night tonight. 
And so good that we actually still get to do Geelong United. Praise God for online, hey? Although how much I wish we were all together in the stinky, hot, sweaty praise pit. Hopefully in term three, we'll be able to do that. It is still good to be able to get together. We love all of our youth ministries all across Geelong. But tonight, I'm so excited because normally when we get gathered together, we have an amazing guest speaker come down and share around the Word of God. And it's always so good. But tonight, I think it's extra special because we're going to hear from some of our local heroes, your youth leaders, your youth pastors are going to be sharing around the Word of God. And I'm believing that you are going to be so encouraged tonight. I'm really believing and our prayer is that you would at the end of all of this, that your life can be turned around for the better because that's just how good God is. And so why don't we meet our panellists tonight? I reckon, how about guys, if you just want to introduce yourselves, maybe tell us what youth group you're from. And if they're from your youth group, why don't you give them a shout out on the chat? Tell them how much you love them, how much you miss them. And um, so why don't you introduce yourself to us tonight? Hey everyone, uh, yeah, my name's James Ashley. Most people call me Jimmy, so feel free to call me Jimmy if you see me. Um, and I'm with the Selvos, uh, South Bay and Selvos in Belmont. Hey, I'm uh, Kurt from The Wave Youth. And I'm Bethany Brew from Impact Church, Geelong. Awesome, well, so good guys. Are you ready? We're gonna have some fun tonight. They're ready. ready. I can sense it. You're ready. So what a crazy season we have all been a part of. You've probably been doing school from home and some of you probably love it because you roll out of bed in your pyjamas and go to homeroom. But some of you can't wait to be back at school. But we've had some challenges and some hurdles in this season. But there's also been some amazing opportunities to grow and to learn. And tonight we're going to talk about one of those amazing opportunities that we've had in this season. And that's been the opportunity to draw closer to God. I love that even though we have to socially distance from each other, we never have to distance ourselves from God. He is always close to us in every season, in the highs and the lows. He never leaves us and He never forsakes us. That's what His Word tells us. And so tonight, our amazing panellists are going to encourage us around just this, drawing close to God in this season. I want to read a scripture before we hear from these amazing uh, leaders and pastors here tonight. But it's a scripture from James chapter 4, verse 8. And it says that as we draw near to God, He will draw near to you. So I want to encourage you as we jump into our panel tonight, why don't you make a decision in your heart to draw near to God? And I'm believing right in your home, in your bedroom, in your living room, God is going to draw near to you. So... Why don't we jump into it? Jimmy, are you ready? You're going to go first because you're right, right next to me. All right. Could you share with us um, tonight maybe um, a personal experience or during this season how you've experienced the closeness of God? That's a pretty simple one, actually, because life it just came to a halt, you know, in an instant. And, you know, life is really busy. I've got a couple of kids and... You're just going here, there and everywhere, whether it be sports or dropping off at work, training, um, and then everything else that life throws at you. And in an instant that just went stop. Not having to race out the door to get to work, working from home, um, all of a sudden found myself with a lot of, lot of uh, extra time. And uh, during this time, I've, I've really been able to spend a lot more time with God, just because that the busyness isn't there in my life. So I've been enjoying going for an hour walk every every morning and either listening to a podcast and getting some good teaching or listening to some music or just walking and chatting with God. Um, yeah, it's been a really awesome time just to uh, reflect and just be with Him and just to be still and to, and to listen. So good. I love that because we can so easily, you know, get stuck watching Netflix or, you know, wasting our time. But I love that you've been really intentional and in going for walks and listening to podcasts. That's so good. And maybe even um, still, Jimmy, with the people in your, um, young people in your youth group, have there been ways that you've seen them press into God and, and also um, become closer to Him in this season? Yeah, I've been in contact with all, all our young guys and a number of them have shared a similar sort of experience that their lives have, have calmed down. So they're actually really being intentional in their devotion time and whether that be 
um, listening to music or, or just going for some walks and just, just being still, you know, journaling. Um, and, yeah, a lot of them have sort of commented that, yeah, I've got, I've got time to do it. I'm not as rushed. Yeah. Um, yeah. So good. I love that. Go the Salvo Youth. Awesome. And what about you, Kurt, um, as well? Any personal experiences that you've had experiencing God close in this season? Um, yeah, like um, I'm a painter by trade or my work or whatever and um, with less people being on site and a few guys not actually rocking up to work because they're scared or whatever, yeah, yeah being safe. Um, just have had some really good times just um, spending time with God by myself, painting walls and stuff like that and it's just been, been really good just, um, yeah, just having time with him um, with not too many people around really and then just at home not having to rush around, it's just been yeah, really time has just been amazing. Yeah. That's awesome. And as well with the young people um, in your world, have you seen them press into God and draw close to Him? Yeah, yeah, big time. Um, we've been Zooming online as, as a youth group on a Thursday night and um, been getting into smaller groups and just um, just hearing, hearing their stories and um, just about um, them thinking about their friends and... Um, praying for their friends and family and stuff like that. It's been That's good. Great. Yeah. That's so good. I love that. Um, even in this season, we're learning so much about slowing down and prioritising what's important. And that's obviously God. And what about you, Beth? I know you've got a story to share. I do. I rocked up here without having eaten any tea. And what Jimmy said out the back that there was some pizza. So I go out there. Pizza's not normally my favourite thing in the world, unless it's one pizza in particular, Hawaiian. There was one slice left. And all the extra pineapple. So good. God blessed me. I wonder, a... hang on, Bethany, I want to hear your story. But I wonder, in the chat right now, young person, are you a pineapple on pizza person? I know we're being holy here. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? All right, keep going. <laughs> so, so here I was hungry and there it was, just the perfect piece of pizza. But apart from that, you know how you have crazy times where you're just so hectic and you start stressing over something and you don't even realise you've actually started stressing on it and stewing on it until it becomes a really big problem? God answered me before I even got to him and saying, Lord, help. Um, he gave me a kid's cartoon and said the last two lines of it and it just said, oh, don't worry. There's always tomorrow, you try again. And I was like, thanks God. All of a sudden the stress disappeared. And I didn't have to go looking for him. He was right there. I didn't have to worry. I didn't have to go find someone to confide in. He was there ready for me. That's so good. I love that. Even the simplest things that God knows the desires of our heart and even the simplest things of like a pizza that he wants to draw close to us in every element of our life. And so um, as well as that, um, keeping on going and I'll throw it to anyone if you want to jump in. You can be brave. Um, but I guess in this season, we faced different challenges. Obviously, like you were sharing, Jimmy, everything just shut down and all of a sudden life just seemed to, to change. Um, I guess, how have you been relying on God in this season? Go, go, go. Go, I, Beth. I'd have to say that if I didn't have God, I would have gone insane already. Amen. Um, I have a four-year-old almost and a nine-month-old. She had six teeth come through all at once. How many sleep-deprived nights I've had. Um, it is amazing what God will pull you through. And you can't go through things where you can't rely on your mother as much as what you could previously or have your friends and the kids go out and have a play date. My son's going stir crazy and that just makes me go stir crazy. And then you have God come in and just put you at peace. It is an amazing thing. You can't face this sort of thing without someone like God. Awesome. I love that. Any other examples of how you've relied on God? Yeah, look, um, you know, I've been walking with God for a while now and, and I know that life throws a whole lot of curveballs at us. And so when, we, when, I, when I face this, you know, my go-to is I, I know God's got me. I know that he's my rock and that he's never let me down and, and he never will. And um, so just, just knowing that he's got me, he loves me, um, that I can rely on him and whatever happens, uh, he has a plan and purpose uh, through it all. So good. I love that. Okay. Yeah, and um, I think like for some of us that work, like mon monetary stuff is sometimes an issue, but it's just so good to 
have the peace of um, of God to know that He's He's got us, and money doesn't really matter in the end. But he's He's the most important thing, and family and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah awesome. I love that, and um, I guess living that personally, relying on God so good and we've got so many of our amazing young people from all over Geelong watching and I just wonder um, would there be anything that you would say to our young people that are watching um, what are some things that they can do perhaps they've been struggling in this season what are some things that they can do um, to rely on God more um, just before this actually started to really happen here in Australia I was we had uh, young young adults, young young guys around at my house doing our Bible study group and we were, we were just sort of uh, sharing about how um, in this world we'll have trouble and we can't rely on the worldly things because they can be gone in an instant and at that stage we were seeing the stock market crash and a lot of people getting sick and people losing jobs and you know the world was getting pretty hectic. It hadn't quite sort of happened in Australia yet but uh, just said to, the, said to the guys that you know um, the world will let us down and worldly things will go in an instant and we've 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 seen that happen here in in australia but uh the one thing that we can trust and rely on is god's promises and th that what he says he delivers on every time that if if we gravitate to that and and god he he will bring us through this this sort of stuff yeah, I love that. It reminds me of the story in the Bible where you're building your house on the rock, on the firm foundation, that's Jesus. And, um, you know, the world can shift and change in the storms, but when we rely on God, that doesn't have to shake us. Any other pearls of wisdom and to inspire young people? Um, in our church and in the youth group, we've had a lot of them who have um, faced friends with death or sicknesses or illness. And then there's been Mother's Day where they've been separated and can't go visit them or birthdays and they haven't been able to have their friends or family or the normal people who support them around them but it's amazing how some of them have just turned around and gone hold on a sec I might not have them but there's someone who's always there and they've realized that they just have to turn around and look and he's there waiting for them and it's some of the things that have come out are amazing and even just some of the things where they've logged into different church events that they normally wouldn't have attended because they've just do it when on the sly and it's wonderful to see just how many of them extra have joined in and it's really encouraging there too awesome Kat? um yeah like um it's been we've been getting in small groups with our, our youth group and um had some young young guys um in in my little little group and just talking about goals goals in life like goals with god goals with um our life and future and how they line up with um with god's plan and and we were reading some scriptures and it's just how how god wants to be a part of every part part of our lives not just like the god bits or or the the good bits and he wants to be there for the bad the good and yeah, and how, how he wants to be close to us at all times, yeah. Yeah, that's so good that we can be vulnerable and show ourselves, all of us, to God. We don't have to hide anything from him. That's so good. Um, you guys are doing so well. You're so full of wisdom. I love it. Um, and the thing that I love about God, I love everything about God, but I love that um, the Bible tells us that those who are in him go from strength to strength. The Bible also tells us that he works everything together for good for those that love him. You know, we have trouble sometimes, but we can know that when we love God, when we put him first, he works everything together for good. So that tells me that God has an amazing future in store. We have so much to look forward to, so much to put our hope in and our trust in. And so I guess um, sort of to wrap up our panel a little bit, I'd love to hear from all of you. Um, if you could just speak to our young people tonight, and I just wonder if you could inspire us all with what this looks like moving forward, you know, coming out of this season, um, what does it look like moving forward for you, for your youth ministry, um, and just for the young people, what are some things that we have to look forward to um, and the goal that we can take from, from this season that we've walked through together? I'll go first. Go, go, go. Um, I suppose look, it's, it's really hard to know what the future does hold. Like everything changes from week to week, day to day, hour to hour, really. Um, so, you know, we're seeing a bit of an ease in restrictions and possibly we, we might be able to get back to doing some small things with, with a few people. Um, we've certainly learned things by 
I'm so not tech savvy, but you know, I've learned how to use Zoom and it's been a really good tool for doing our, our Bible study groups and it's been really handy for getting a lot of kids there because parents aren't having to drop off. So there's certainly things that we've, we've learned from this. Um, you know, we've sort of lost being able to go to our church buildings, but I, I know and trust our God that it's not about church buildings, that, that we are the church. It's not a building that um, that we all have a role to play in this in this world, and that we need to, you know, this is our opportunity to be in the world, uh, to be His hands and His feet, and to be His light in the world. And you know, I have my part of the world that I'm in, and every everyone out there is in in their little part of the world with their their own friends, and uh, we each have a responsibility to be God to those people, to love them. Um, to share them God's love and God's truth and to bring them the good news. Yeah, amen. Um, yeah, going forward, I can't wait to hang out with everyone. Like, that's going to be sick. I don't know when that's going to happen, but I can't wait. Um, but with our um, youth and stuff, like, I just think it's been a great time to um, how important it is to um, make sure we're loving on each other and looking out for each other. I know there's been few suicides in there around our town and it's affected our youth group and it just really really hits home about how important it is to share um share god's good news because of um how much he loves each one of you and um you need to share that with your friends considering god has met me where i'm at during this season i want to have a youth group when we're going forward that actually meets youth at where they are at. So I don't necessarily need it to be what my agenda is or what I think it needs to be, but I need it to be what they need it to be. And I want to make sure that I'm more aware and listening more often because you don't know when's the next time you're going to see them. And that might just be that they needed that answer and you were just too busy to listen. So I want to make sure that going forward, doesn't matter where we're at, I'm ready to meet them at where they are at. So good. Well, we have so much to look forward to and how amazing have these guys been. Why don't you put your hands together at home for our amazing leaders that have shared with us and why don't you give them a shout out in the chat and just tell them how awesome they are and how much we appreciate their time, their heart and sharing with us. So thank you so much, guys. You are amazing. But as we come to a close tonight, you know, I don't know where you're at. I don't know where you find yourself tuning in tonight. Maybe you've tuned in and, and you've been feeling distant from God. Maybe it's been a long time since you've, I don't know, you've thought about Him, you've prayed. Maybe it's been since you were at youth group last time or since we were here at Geelong United and maybe you're feeling distant from Him. I wanna encourage you tonight that God is close to you. No matter how you're feeling, no matter maybe the mistakes that you've made, God is so close to you. I'm reminded of a verse in the Bible that says um, from Deuteronomy 31 verse 6, and it says, Be strong, take courage, don't be intimidated, don't give them a second thought, because God is your God is striding ahead of you. He's right there with you. He won't let you down and He won't ever leave you. There is nothing that you could say or do that could cause God to leave you or to walk away from you. His joy, His peace, His love is available to you right now. He wants to come close to you wherever you are at, at home, in your bedroom, in your living room. God wants to draw near to you tonight. But maybe you've tuned in and maybe this is the first time you've actually ever come to a youth group. Maybe someone sent you the link from school and this is the first time you've tuned in and heard about God. That's awesome. We're so glad that you have. Or maybe it's been the first time in a long time that you've thought or heard about God. And tonight, I wanna give you the opportunity to invite Jesus to come into your heart, to draw close to Him. Maybe you felt distant from Him. Well, tonight is your chance to invite Him into your heart and to draw near to Him again. Um, I wanna invite you tonight and tell you that He loves you so much, 
that He created you, that He has a purpose for you, that He has a hope and a future in store for you. You know, the Bible tells us that God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. God sent His Son down on this earth to die on a cross, to take away all of our sin. What's that? That's just the stuff that we've done wrong, the mistakes that we've made that separate us from Jesus. He took that all away so that nothing could stand in the way between us and Him. And three days later, the Bible tells us that He rose again, winning the victory over everything. And tonight, if you wanna say a prayer and invite Jesus into your heart, I wanna invite you to do that with me. The Bible says if we believe it in our heart and we declare it with our mouth, we shall be saved. And so tonight, I wanna say a simple prayer. And no matter the mistakes you made, no matter how distant you feel from God, that's okay. If you wanna invite Jesus into your heart tonight, would you pray this prayer with me? Would you, would you make a decision right now, wherever you're at, to say, God, would you come into my life again? I've turned my back on you, I've walked away, but tonight I wanna turn back and I wanna invite you into my heart. Come on, if you wanna pray that prayer, why don't you pray with me right now? Dear Heavenly Father, I ask You to come into my heart. I believe that You died on a cross to take away all of my sin and three days later, You rose again. Lord, I receive Your forgiveness. Would You come into my heart? Would You be my Lord, my Saviour and my best friend? I turn from my way of doing things and I turn to You tonight, God. Come into my heart. In Jesus' Name I pray, Amen. Why don't you say Amen right where you're at if you prayed that prayer with me tonight. We are so proud of you if you did that. It is the best thing that you could ever do. I did this as a teenager and I have never looked back. God has been so good to me. And you know what? We don't wanna just say, hey, good job. See you later. We actually wanna journey this with you. We wanna get beside you. We wanna pray with you. We wanna support you in your walk with Jesus. And so what we have tonight is, I think up on the screen in just a few moments, there is right here a link and a barcode. I know this is some pretty cool technology. I don't know if you've ever used a QR code before, but if you have an iPhone, you can just open your camera and literally hover over this barcode and a link will come up. And if you prayed this prayer and you meant it in your heart and you invited Jesus into your heart, I want you to scan that barcode for me and it takes you to a form that you can fill in. It's gonna go to our leaders that wanna pray with you, that wanna support you, that wanna connect you into a local youth ministry, that are just gonna get beside you and champion you in the things of God because He's got a great plan for your life. We believe that with all of our heart. And that is it from us. We hope you have had such a fun night. We love you. We can't wait till we're all together again in that praise pit. And we just think you're amazing. We're gonna throw over to One Hope Youth to Georgia to finish off our night. See you later, guys. Well, what a fabulous night we've had tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you just made that decision, congratulations. It is the best decision you will ever make. Well, we've got a few thank yous um, to give before we wrap up tonight. We have had an incredible amount of churches come together to put this on for our city. So thank you to the Kidinia and One Hope production teams and churches, um, a fabulous effort broadcasting that um, together. Well done. Uh, to the One Hope band, thank you very much. We've had Planet Shakers host. Uh, we've had guests from the Salvation Army, from Impact Church in Cario, from the Wave in Ocean Grove, and Gateway and Waterfront have also been a part of the broadcast and if you've tuned in from any other church as well thank you so much for having joined us this evening it's been great to have you on board um, as Emma said there was a code on the screen that you could scan if you happen to miss that we don't want you to miss out so just uh, write in the chats and let us know if you need to uh, get connected to that online connect card and we'll make sure someone gets in contact with you 
We're about to throw now uh, to our Zoom small group. So if you are connected to a youth group or if somebody else has invited you along uh, to watch tonight, um, get in contact with them and find out what their youth group's Zoom contact details are. Um, leaders, if your kids don't know what the Zoom contact details are, feel free to put that in the comments either on YouTube or Facebook because we want to make sure everyone's now connected into a small group chat. We do have a Zoom chat that's going to happen for if you have just randomly stumbled across this broadcast and no one has invited you, um, but we believe that God has led you to watch this particular service for a reason and we would love to reach out and connect with you and answer any questions you have. So up on the screen right now is our Zoom ID for that meeting. Uh, so write that down if you would like to join Nathan Friend from Kidinia and myself on that Zoom chat right now. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Until next term, we look forward to gathering together either online, but hopefully in person. We love you guys. Have a great week and all the best with school next week. Signing off.